Juggernaut. Okay. How far in ten turnaround going in your favor? Things are gonna be rough. You can see Master. He might even die. Yep. Jackie's well top. They get a big couple of kills here for Galaxy Racer. Another stun. And Lion Axe. LSA still on cooldown. Scatter Blast will give him that little bit of... Pretty aware of at least some things going on. Because no one is in this bottom lane at all. Gonna go now, Snap Fighter. Actually, looks like he's baiting to force him to go. Because Yokam, he wasn't overstepping the mark just yet. Pops the Fairy Fire. They'll trade the kills. Now even E.T. is going to show up. Polo's going to have a lot of damage here with the Astral. He even puts a level in the natural order. Just getting rid of a little of that tankiness effect. Reducing the armor. Drag back Q. We'll be okay. So you leave that. <laughs> and Tiny doesn't have the greatest mana pool. Q. I don't see how you win a man fight versus Galaxy Racers here. Like, that's actually a lane I don't think you play into. It feels like now... Like... I don't even know what they do here, though. You can't prioritize stacks, because then you, you've got a numbers disadvantage. Is Apollo might end up falling. Echo Stump, they'll actually nope. turn it around. LSA is up in a couple seconds. They can use the Mizu stun to set up for that. And again, we are seeing Chaos Knight is such a laning dominator. And it's just... In your dreams, wrapping through, though. And if they take these stacks away, oh, this is massive for Galaxy Razor. This actually might just put them in the bin. Like, Jackie's dead second time this game. They've got Echo Stomp available. Q's going to get caught. Joe Camp can fall with the LSA. That's going to be two kills. And they're taking the stacks. I I, I don't know how they come back. I know it's so worth it. the Yasha first, but will he finish up the Manta style? Will he go that infusible? Again, I lose the snap fire. TP is coming through. Mizu's got 21 charges though. They can definitely turn. They need a plus one. And it's going to come through now from In Your Dreams Razor. Yorikam, unfortunately, doesn't have as much survivability as what the Chaos Knight does. But he can really just rely it on keeping so his life for as long as possible. For Polo and In Your Dream, the reinforcements have arrived. The cavalry is showing. Darkseed will fall. That is your third death on Master. Grow damage helps it out. All right. Well, let's see, see what Phyllis can do. We, we said kind of this is the X Factor. They got a sentry though, so they're aware. Even Juggernaut's looking to get involved just in case. They want to make sure there's no opportunity for Motivate to be able to come back in this game. As they'll cut down Q. Lionax has also got a reset here. He's got Boots Cookie for a little bit better positioning, but Alacrity does not give a damn. Treads, Windlace, he can chase him down. No tier 1 tower as well to juke through, so a 6 thousand are in his lane it just feels like it's this never-ending cycle and they're even looking to take advantage of oh, on me nice attempt with the toss back but it's actually gonna get master us killed the delacrity has got all that bonus attack speed from the yasha they might even think about going on deep the teacher tower guys it's 11 30 minutes of the game like they're dead and down already oh no trying to dive this et is gonna be so difficult because they can't start instantly. Oh, well, Fearless, Echo Stomp. They get the Abba. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Okay. They need to be careful. Here's well. the Rainbow TPs. Alacrity, in your dream. Oh, the Coons. They're showing up to punish, but motivate. They haven't reset. Straight on top of Jackie's even showing up as well instead of farming. So they've honed onto the Medusa. Jackie's able to get back to the safety of the tower. Really, we've dragged through. They don't have the damage just yet. As Fearless as well is getting chunked down. They'll drop the Omni Slash. Jackie's actually going to lose all his mana. One of them kisses Cogs, locks him in. So they find Mizu. That's a big kill on the Chaos Knight. In your dream, diving under the T2 tower as well. But he does still get the kill on top of the Medusa. So they find a third. Make it the In Your Dream Life too. A triple for Lion Axe. What do you know? Motivate. Able to get a couple kills here. It does cost the Medusa. Extra little bit of health is, is always important there. So the Jug. Jump in, Fearless. One in, hollow. Very similar Just position. They need to take up the Omni Slash. It's going to allow Fearless with that surge to get back to some safety. But they haven't been able to burst down the Elder Titan. So that quick jump from Fearless not going to work out. And in fact, that's going to cost them two kills. A little desperate again. They're going to try for a team fight here. They want to bait Jackie. Incoming. Oh, Shoot, that's misses. not a good start in your dream. Toss. Blink away. He actually goes, goes in the deeper. back line. Now Fearless, he's going to get punished. 
They wanted the lean up, but they won't be successful at being able to bring her down. And now Motivate forced to retreat, but great echo on positioning. Stone Gaze, Jackie has to use it more defensively to try and be able to protect the darks here. Chaos Knight will try and take his life up just to retreat away for Jackie's disengage. LSA on two, and they bring them all down. They've just got way too much farm for Motivate. They are unable to deal with that at the moment. Lion Axe, Cookie up. Just in the nick of time, but that's gonna be four down. I think Bendusa is gonna be farmed enough to solo defend the high ground. Like you've got a big threat of all your team fight heroes, but we'll see a pick off on Masteros. Is you already read that Agnum shot, but Dai's prowess. Smoke, but they might guess because they're obviously Roche's on half HP. There's oh, no Jackie. one there. Okay. LSA, doesn't pop the stone gaze. Now the Omni Slash instantly with the Fusible Blade. Jackie gets ripped apart. They tip him as well before he dies. Phyllis might get... No, not the Cory. Just wants to try and cut the wave. Found the Chaos Knight. They don't have the damage now without Phyllis. Oh, Bottom of Kiss is actually job. Maybe they do have the damage here for Mizu. Can't get out of range. They'll try and cancel out the... Bottom of Kisses with a split Earth. So they trade a one for one. Unfortunately, they lose Masteros too. So if it was just a one for one, you'd be pretty happy there for Motivate. But... And it's delaying it. Phyllis... Uh, Echo Stomp. Oh, no. He's trying to min-max. Like, you're just trying to delay this as much as possible, but that's costing him big. My blade yeah, just they need a bit. He's got the damage. Oh, they see Jackie. Oh, they got no. a tier 2 tower as well. TPs. He's oh, one no. coming through. They need Jackie just TP'd. Oh, he's dead. He doesn't make it yeah. out now. TP on cooldown. Mizu does so much damage. Like... Ban it. Get rid of it. Ban why it. are Just we still it. seeing the Chaos Knight? Like, why are teams letting Galaxy race? But after that, like, yeah. you're not going to have many angles, so... I mean, you're not even having a tree uh, volley at all. This is an opportunity. In your dream, BKB's on cooldown. Dire. They're coming over. They need a burst in before the Radiant Outpost. TPs are able to come back into play. Is in your dream will fall. Earth split off. Flying out. This was able to control off the snap fire, but do they stick around here for Motivate? Masteros drops the wall. back onto two. Lacrity still got that Aegis as well in the backpack. Yorikan forced back and forth with the Spirit Vessel. Should tick him out. No, he's still got the Yules, but it's going to allow Motivate to close the distance. Mizu soloing Fearless. Oh, no. Mizu's Chaos Knight rips apart the Tiny. This is even with the Tiny with so much armor, but it doesn't matter. He's even sticking around. He'll run into Mastros. He wants another pickoff. He's going to get it. Mizu's got a triple kill. He's gonna hide away in the Shadow Blade. Never mind about hiding away. Let's just get another kill on Q. They've got to use the Stone Gaze to Sam's there. Q, great force away. They're controlling up Mizu, and it looks like this time he will fall. It's Masteros that gets the kill. A little unfortunate. You want to feed as much of that gold. Oh no. Oh, he might run into the Spirit. Wait, Masteros is also coming out. Run into Joe as well. Oh, oh no. Another tree volley. Blink. No, of course can't get it. The Yules cancel that one. Space Fearless is going to say, but that is your position too, who is getting nothing out of the map. To get back to base. Get Mizu, actually. Okay. That's a big pick. Mizu's a tanky boy, but those Mortimer Kisses laid down in the back is going to be able to find the kill. They need to disengage. In your dream, no cancel. So Masteros and Cure out. Very, very good pick if he's linked up. And Radiant. he's got the Ags now as well. This is a big fight. Coming on over. Get that. Oh, great oh. headband. And he's, he, he linked up the snap fire. Not really the target you want to. Cogs pushing away. Jackie's going to be in a power position on the high ground. This but he it. can't right click anyone because the Cogs. They've zoned the back away to the northern and southern side. And now with the clockwork falling, they're underneath vision here. Masteros forced to drop the wall. Phil is going to blink up forward as well. Now with the chain locked, now Lacro gets it. melted. A great fight from them. Still with the three men sleep. Miz is going to look to follow up as well. But just goodbye. Darkseid ripped apart, but he's going to buy back as well. Needs to rejoin them. Stone Gaze pushing it back. Scatterfly blast as well with the shard here. Cogs locks Miz in place. Another four stop defensively. Phil has got the follow up. The avalanche. It's a ravage from Phil as Tree Volley gets three. This is the motivated roster we've come to love. The comebacks that can come through from them. As Polysum will attempt the TP, the Scatter Blast should cancel and do enough damage. <laughs> and now can they get the lanes out to potentially... Let's erase his draft tags. Nice. 
You see how he's positioned facing the team in case they need to force him to safety. I'll try and start with the Slift Slash. Fast Rush will give him the Surge. Now he's lost uh, all his men up. A lot of damage. Jackie, he can't play as up forward right now as he thinks. They're going to try and look to reset on the higher gun. This is a powerful position for them. Galix Rage, you've got no vision right now. You've got to be careful. Die on the higher gun. They're going to look to turn. He static links up the support. Back wall. Us, but they're on the back of the back. He'll drop the tree volley. Mizu BKB in up. your dream as well. They're trying to fall on forward with the snap fire. Jackie still hasn't lost that first life yet. They're going to buy back on the snap fire. But Juggernaut's down. They're looking to punish here though. Fearless blinking. Abbott tree volley once again. The damage from Fearless. The last... Christmas tree is flying on forward. He gets a double on Masteros, in fact. And now Jug doesn't have a buyback. 60 seconds. Masteros is just in position looking for a blink vacuum. They want to be able to let the... Uh, well, actually, Deuce doesn't have enough mana to even use the Mystic Snake. Might just look to let the uh, Aegis tick out. 30 seconds, it almost ticked. Lionel going to get brought down. ET buyback as well. They're going to look to reset now with the buybacks here from Motivate. Once again, if they can get back on the higher gun, they might look to turn. Laguna Blade, nice load of sword. Back onto two. Jackie, not in prime position. He's going to use that vacuum. Mizu back alive. They're draining down Jackie dry. He needs to reset for the tree volley. Pushed it back for the scatter blast stun. Mizu's caught out of place here and he's going to fall. He's got a buyback. If Motivate think about walking up this higher ground here. But Jackie's full. And you see how I defensive... Think nearly got the perfect item sorry for all of motivate every oh, single one of over. trying to protect their observed wood in your dream turn to stone hooks off forward one of the kisses tree vol as well great use of the four stuff mass shots with a blink on the back line now with the sweep slash but they've stunned up yo cam you accept it sends him up in the air but it looks like radiant they need to retreat away down for 100 seconds, gonna be the lean on Earth with a Phyllis with the blinking forward, but just onto the illusion. Now with the Omni Slash as well, but Phyllis is taking up all the damage. Mizu's gonna have to go in, but now with the Stone Gaze, they'll turn Medusa to disarm. So he's unable to dish out any of the damage at the moment, but it's straight in front of Mizu. It's turned to sleep, but in your dream, just can't leash up Jackie. So Jackie freely right clicking, and they're gonna end up losing the jug. And even inside the base, they go on Q. That's really aggressive. Q, he doesn't have to back up. So he's actually going to fall an overcommitment there from the clockwork. This actually User, could be a I cool think. play. They saw that Jackie's a bit disconnected from the team, but how do they start? They'll go on line axe, Mimo on the back line as well. Mizu's going to try and jump, but the avalanche now with the volley. Mizu, he's going to be careful. They haven't got the initial burst of Lotus Orb as well. So Shash's going to do no damage. Mizu, Skadi, kited through the BKB, radiant. They need a retreat, but now the Cogs locks two in place. Both the supports going to get ripped apart now with the Omnislash as well. Four seconds done. It's on the tiny. Fearless is a judge just yet. They're giving the cheese in our Galaxy Racer. They're blowing their entire load. You need a retreat. The, away. the Ava toss up in the yeah, the volley gonna get dropped as well. You can't escape, you can't hide. He would use the switch last once again, but Alacrity, he just has to try and stand his ground and man fight, but he can't even do that. More items. Darkseed BKB. Now how do you kill him? Yeah, and it's gotten to the point where he doesn't even need to Mastros. get the sword press They're gonna jump. Axe. Four Double seconds done this time. Okay, they will bring down Mastros. Mizu's taking a lot of damage with a hookshot forward. Great use of the defensive flicker. It's going to give a little this bit better it. positioning. Jackie falls back once again. Mizu defensive. Fearless. Look at the Avatos on two. They got Laguna Blade, but Jackie takes minimal amount of damage. They've zoned away in your dream. Jack is the raid boss Medusa that they just can't go through. So it's going to force them to deal with everyone else. They'll lose the Tiny. They'll lose the Dark Sea. But they need to get more out of this. They bought back on a lot of heroes. They're not going to get Lion Axe. They might get Cube. No, Reality Rift just shy. But they have got Vision. So Q's still going to get chased down here. So in the end, Motivate. They will lose three, but it does cost Galaxy Racer a hefty amount to defend that high ground. Oh, yeah. Buybacks on all of your cores. And all you're really going to get in return is eh, a couple of fights. You could start with the Gobble Up on the range creep. But they go for something here. Initial stun, four star, oh, further four star. in. Now they get the static link, hook shot, double parallel hook. wall as well with the tree volley from Fearless from the western side. But Jackie's falling really low. Another wall as well. How do you man fight versus four walls? They've lost the juggernaut. He doesn't have a buyback left. Lost the razor as well. Look who's gonna play. Cuts through. It's the Mizu show now, but can he do it by himself? 
Shadow Blade trying to retreat to safety, but the Gem Vision is going to be there. They'll trap him in the cogs. He'll try and turn with the protection, but it's not enough. Battery Salt means that Mizu can do absolutely nothing. Another tree volley down. He goes. They've only got a buyback on the Lena. And I think Motivate have somehow come back and taken this game one. Nearly looks like a hashtag there next to the barracks. And it's hashtag Medusa right now. They're able to quickly take it out. It's wow. going to be a wow, yeah, 2v5. Wow. What a comeback. What? 90. Is that the biggest turnaround you've seen? What a game. My lord, Motivate, you are on another level. I was saying they weren't going to do it. I was saying with how it was oh, looking party. <laughs> right in the face. And the fact that they're able to come back that far behind the cohesion. The, it's a Ricky. You may now select your heroes. Hey. Mid Ricky? I like to race to have the tiny. Oh, the tiny airlines. Very cool. The very, very begins. cool. Although Yorkamp doesn't have the pack. So, Linux, EMP. One more right click. He's got boots. They both have boots. Oh, that's gonna reveal the ward. I, was he fully up or higher? Even in CS at the moment. And it's actually top. Polo. He's a bit out of position here and motivated. Gonna look to punish with Mastros picking up that kill on the ancient apparition. It's gonna give them their first one of the. Level six. Just picked up by Fearless. Immediately starts oh, making his way top, up actually. the top. Cookie into Skewer. They know that in your dream, use the time lock. That is a very crafty way to find that kill. And it's also just the awareness. You know, if he uses that time walk, then you. Yes. <laughs> a little bit less. Going in on to Ricky. So yes. Use the tricks. So got some bling strike charges with the creep wave coming on forward. In Fearless. Actually jumping in. Man's got balls of steel. We're gonna turn with the cold snap. Fearless jumping in once again. Yorikem needs the right click. Even Masteros is gonna sweep on over. <laughs> we'll get the last right click. So they do lose two on Galaxy Racer. It is gonna cost you the low. The Empower is gonna skyrocket his farming. And he already farms really well. Masteros. Thinking about pump faking the RP, but great use of the micros and just the in and out play from Galaxy Racer. So they'll get the kill on Masteros. If they can really shut down this mag, then they are going to start to slain. If you're not, then it's a big issue. They might try and commit on to Mizu. Nice leading with the cookie stun. Follow up RP. It's going to be there. That is another crafty way we see from them, these teams to start. They knew if the skewer would have been too late. There is Jokam in a position. Well, the deny. Deny their own ward. Oh. Very nice. Oh, he's blocked. Oh, oh, Lion Axe. Oh, tornado feelers. Taking a bit of damage. They get the cold feed in Eno Dream if he wants to commit the chrono, but. He's gonna need to go again. They got the sentry, they do. They got the vision. Fearless, blink. Up in a couple seconds here. Chrono. There we go. They're just gonna make sure they get that Ricky kill. That's fine. You could use the chrono lane. Like, you've got a broodmother who, by the way, has a Dagon on Mizu. What? Uh, who already went the soul ring. Yep. That's not the so build I was three expecting. Three levels ahead of Fearless, though. Oh, maybe the Dagon's gonna come into play here. Ice Blast after the tricks of the trade. Fearless. Spirit Vessel. It's One alive. more tick. Fearless. He's somehow the madman's going back in. Fearless will fall. Mag's gonna drop as well. Okay. Fearless, come on, boy. <laughs> you were on about <laughs> 50 HP. I know you got a nice RP off, but can't buy this Invoker going into the Cataclysm. Maybe just wanting an easy way to pick off the, uh, the Shadow Fearless. Demon on the back lines. He's in trouble down bot. They got a TP rotation coming through, but the Dagon and Ice Blast is enough. Now, Masteros as well has got to be careful. They don't have too much vision right now on Dyer, but they're seeing no rotations just yet with well, at least any one jumping on top to protect Masteros. Surprise, because Jack is showing in top lane and they see Q as well, so... Jackie is dishing out a ton of damage though with this encounter. And now, oh, Chrono. Oh, speaking of him, we're radio on the back line, but if they can burn his mana with the EMP, is it going to be enough? Oh, it's not. Toss in. toss in as well from Q. Ice Blast going to fly after the reincarnation. Jackie looks the man fight with the time walk. Can he get back to safety? He can. 
And now Jackie, he's in no man's land. Tornado will clip him. Lion Axe, it's not enough with the banishment. And now it's going to put him in a really awkward spot. As as long as they get the slow from the chilling touch, Mizu's even going to show up here. Two points, Dagon. That burst coming on forward. Alacrity. Healers. On top of him. They're going to get out of the silence. Great use of the positioning from Masteros' Magnus. So he's got a target to blink to. They're going to be careful of their group because the blink in. Skewer. Oh, that tornado. Oh, nice. Now Masteros, he's committed. He might get punished. Jackie's looking to hunt as well. The rating showing up level 15. Radiant's bring down moved. the Invoker. Ticking down Polis on this is a big timing for Radiant with that Radiance here. Oh, Lion Axe, goodbye. Take on just rips him apart. They do have the purge on Mizu, but I have buybacks as well. If this fight does continue to drag on forward, Blink RP finds a tiny in your drink. Gonna look to counter up, but the Cronus Fist still on cooldown. So he's actually offering to man fight Jackie, and I don't think he's gonna be able to. In your dream, will lose his life. Great armlet toggles from Jackie. Great armlet toggles as well. With the use of that time dilation, he was actually on one second left on that reincarnation cooldown for about four seconds. Very big timing now for Radiant. Radiance. You got Diffusal Blade on, on Fearless, who was a little bit poor, and is now actually going to try and set up. Alacrity doesn't have the four stuff yet in the imagery, and is going to get punished. That Diffusal Blade coming a little bit before the defensive item. It's a big damage. This experience, very similar as well, but they see Polo under a ward. They're even going to lay down the Mortimer Kisses just to slow to allow him to catch back up. Close to the tier 2 tower, Radiant, they also have Krona, but you really want the Ice Blast for this. Toss back, they'll find Fearless, nice silence, and now Radiant swinging over, try and protect the Ricky. Tornado, is it going to clip at the last second? It's not, but he does still fall, thanks to Mizu's Broodmother. They're looking to hunt though, looking to punish, motivate, they need to retreat away back to safety, but you've got to be careful. Even smoke up from Galaxy Racer, looking to try and get any extra inch of advantage you have in the movement speed. They'll toss back Jackie. Meanwhile, with the Chronosphere off to the western side. In your Turning dream. On a finds Maceros and Lion Axe going to be protected. So the Chronosphere completely wasted. And now Jackie feels confident with actually fighting. So Galaxy Racer, that is a big misplay from them. Using the Chrono without the follow-up. Jackie, now in fighting condition, is able to punish them for that misplay. And they're just going to go straight into Roche. Still 40 seconds left on that Chrono cooldown. And, uh, you know, you've gone much... Oh, oh. oh nice silence. Now you've got to retreat. Yorkham's just ultra dead. In dream show, brother. Right, they're actually coming on down. They don't have Chrono. But Jackie, again, ultimate's back up. The MP's going to get rid of all his men. He's only got seven one charges. It looks like they're happy with the one for one trade for the position four for the two. Line axe. Consider all of the things with the nether shore. Got this ward on the high ground. Joe Kem's going to try and blink up forward. That's a really important target if they can bring him down. But they go, they will. He's going to buy back if he wants to rejoin them. But the RP finds Mizu. Yo Kem's going to get hunted as well. Jackie with the BKB. Goes to work. Now with the face is going to the controlled void. Can't get anything defensive off. No, Lackley has to get back to safety. Same with Polo. But that should be Roshan. Those two pickoffs coming in to play here for Motivate. And yeah, instantly they go. Jackie's a bit from the team. Maybe you can force uh, like a BKB. Maybe even a bit of Dagon. Okay. Now you can drop the Chrono. He's coming on over. Ice Blast as well. Jackie pops the BKB, but Tiny's in trouble. They'll stun him off the first time in your dream. Finally, Chrono gonna get dropped. Now with the Cataclysm with the Ice Blast. It's already been used. Is the damage still gonna be enough? Great use of the Banishment Lion Axe at the last second. And they've silenced up the Faces Void. They're gonna be able to bring him down. They'll trade him with the backline. RP just finds the Invoker, but the damage is still gonna be there. Nonetheless, it doesn't matter if they don't have the Wraith King. The Radiant here is they buy back on the Void. Yep. You bore yeah, back you on Void, on and you can't even catch up. Fearless can stand his ground. He's still got Blink. He needs a target. In fact, Fearless, he's looking at man fight Yorkam right now. BKB will expire. Team? Doesn't matter. He could just run away. Mm. Mastros almost kills Polo. He's going to Blink and actually claim the kill. Polo skewer. Is it enough? It is. But Mastros will still fall. But you buy back on your faceless void. He is f Go on ahead and disassemble your arcane boots for no reason. They're gonna solo Chrono Masteros. Cataclysm as well. That should be enough damage in your dreams. Gotta get out though. He will be able to... Okay, well now you gotta pop a BKB. 
turn. Maybe gets a kill on Q. No, great banish from Lion Axe. They even buyback on Mastros. In your dreams taking way too long. RP should be there. Great buyback. He's going to end up punishing the faces. Maybe he bought back previously, actually. So he's down for 110 seconds. And Rady can push really fast. Instantly, Jackie beelining mid. About the cold snap on top of you. I better not fall off. Great positioning. Lion Axe. That is quite the spot. Can't blink away. Blink. They're still a, a bit disconnected on Radiant, but they're actually coming from the northern side. They're going to get caught out here. Solo RP onto the Invoker. That's a lot of damage in the, the Chronosphere. He's going to buy back. But where's the Faceless Void? He's away from the team. You need the Chrono onto multiple. In your dreams, finally going to show up. There's the Chrono onto two with the Bashes along with the Cataclysm. He returns to deal with Matros as well. And there's a couple of extra more right clicks. He's not going to be able to get it. Such oh, he's on the long low too. range with that Skewer talent. He's out of there. So it's a couple of buybacks for us, but the big thing is, is the Chrono is also on cooldown. The support's there just... What about this long wrap around though? Oh, they know the smoke pot. Mastros blink up straight on the high ground. They found the Broodmother. Mizu needs help and he needs it now, but is he going to be able to get low? The ball oh, the Void. He can't get the Chrono. The Sans out as well. Pops the BKB. They're all grouped up with the Cataclysm. On to three. It's a lot of damage. They'll deal with the Shadow Demon. That's such an impactful support to be able to bring down first, but you've blown the Chrono and Muzi's falling low as well. Tricks the trade. Claims the kill. Ricky will fall after the Aghanims ticks him out for the Wraith King. But the buybacks galore starting to come out. Yo Camp caught. Nothing the, dude can ha the team can do to help him. Unless Mastros... Misses the skewer there. They'll try and burst him down the ones. Jackie's got the minute of horn. But you see in your dream, just can't commit forward to deal with the Wraith King. Jackie's actually stuck on the high ground. I don't know how Jackie got up there, but he's going to be stuck. How do they actually get him down? Wind Wake is on cooldown for another 10 seconds. They need to try and punish him. Mastros, skewer back in your dream. A time walk away. Fearless as well is still pursuing on forward. But how do you kill off Fearless? Sleeping Dart. Finally, Jackie back down to low ground. Fighting position. He's looking to hunt. Great use of the four stars, better positioning here. A lot of ultimates forced out. Oh, dire. Smoked up. Go camp, blink on forward, snap fire. Instant use of the sleep dart. Controlling up the faces void. He needs to get a big chrono. And again, motivate. They're just not grouped up for it. Well aware of how they need to be positioning a Jackie. That is such a scary prospect. You're almost getting three hit. The radiant should tick him out, and it will. They both don't have buyback. Uh, they, and they pick the faces. Uh oh. He's perched up. They're going to drop the kiss yeah, as well. Mastros do it back. Yes, they definitely could take him out. And it looks like the rest are dire. They've just got to rip and get out. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Is he Probably a huge part of that kill, Jackie, but he still gets the assist gold and experience from it. Oh, no way. What? Lion Axe. He saw Inner Dream with the poison. Oh, oh, the RP! He <laughs> If they weren't 34,000 gold behind... Max, that's a really important target to bring down. But I want this going to make it a little bit more difficult. Ice Blast still there, but the Mortimer to fall up as well. In Dream has to commit the BKB, but Jackie just rips apart the Tiny. Going to look to buy back instantly from the Shadow Demon. They're looking to try and catch for more. Instantly taping out. Galaxy Racer looking to retreat. Have any detection? RP again. Whiff from oh. Masteros. He's got the refresher. He can miss it again. <laughs> no Solar Crest, I don't believe. Not even a medallion. In and out. Again. This time off. Gonna try and poke and prod a Jackie, but it's so difficult. You see that purge, Satanic, back up to full. RP just gonna be committed for one, but Masteros has got the refresher if need be. Mortimer Kisses as well. I'll deal with the first life. Minnowhorn's gonna get popped as well. Gonna buy back here, Tiny. Probably gonna be forced Creep. to use it. Just about win. Jackie. Blink in, Tornado. Masteros a little bit awkward. Masteros is looking to hunt. Blink. It's still on cooldown, unfortunately. Jackie falling low. They're gonna lose the reincarnation the once. Still got the Aegis, keep in mind. Sleep Dot out. On top of the real faces void here. Masteros blinks up, ready to go. 
They're trying to man fight faces for you. He's got to be careful because Mashros is looking for the jump. It looks like he wants the back line. It's there. Time walk straight on top. They dropped the corner. The Cataclysm follow up as well. Magnus is going to get brought down, but they've got the Aghanim's play to come into case. He's got to be careful now. Running straight onto Alacrity, but he can't drop the RP. Blink back forward. Finds Mizu instead for the Deafening Blast. Okay, Wraith King is going to fall. That is the Aegis here. Mizu toss away. Is it going to be enough? Buyback galore coming out, but it's going to be Mega Creeps gaming as well. Faces Void on the front line. Jackie's thinking about retreating. They want to look to punish, though. Five seconds till the reincarnation. Everyone back up, ready to go for this last fight as well, potentially. Nullify, Sleep Dart, Fearless, looking to jump in. Alacrity, getting controlled. Ghost Walk, not going to heal him up too much. They're looking to jump forward, but Yokam, he's stunned. Q pushed back as well with the Scatter Blast. They need to deal with the backline support once again, but they're not able to for Galaxy Racer. Jackie's out of mana, not going to matter. Creeps flooding on top of the base in your dream. Still trying to do whatever he can. He's got a buyback still in the faces for it if need be. It's actually going to time walk really fine. The back line straight on top of Q. Mastros as well. The RP's there. It but it means the face is void. It's completely solo in your dream. Another time walk. He just gets back away. No mana though. Very, very low. Mega Creeps Gaming. They're up and ready to go inside this base. He's going to farm on the other side of the map. <laughs> couple of bounties. RP. I mean, they it's found Mizu. Drag back. Nullify. Scatter Blast. Stun as well. Avalanche. They need to protect him with the toss, but Yokem doesn't want to go in. There's a radial deafening blast. Mizu. He's still actually healthy enough to get back to safety. And then double the first up for the Double RP. Maceros is going to find them both on the back line. Instantly, Jack is going to try and blink on forward with the BKB, but in your dream. Cronus V. It's still good enough for another 20 seconds. Blink away. They're back to safety on Fearless. The creeps are inside. Cataclysm once again. Jackie is away from the team. He's going to get brought down. He actually doesn't have the reincarnation. Jackie's lost his life. But Maceros has found the Invoker. Refresher. BKP pop. Deafening Blast. Cataclysm. Are they going to be able to do it here? And Alacrity, his Invoker, is popping off for the late game. They found the snap fight. Q will fall. In your dream has a rapier as well. We're finally into tier five territory. BKB is satanic along with the chrono. Nullifies out too. the RP once again. They need to try and protect this rapier. Outpost, TP coming through for the Wraith King. It's all or nothing here. Time will come forward straight on top of the Wind Waker. Snap five back to safety, but Jackie's in. They need to deal with the Invoker. Refresher gonna get popped. Potential secondary use of the BKB. Great deafening blast gonna push them away. They're doing a great job to kite Jackie. Chrono's gonna get dropped, but it's on the first life. People used as well. Too. They controlled Fearless. Bashes, bashes, faces void. Gotta be careful. Is the rapier damage gonna be enough? In your dream, up on the high ground. They're kiting away Jackie at the moment, but they get the banishment. Hot toss back stun. Rapier! It's on the deck! Oh no! The creeps are inside the base as well. Void's gonna buy back, but he does not have enough gold for another rapier. Well, Muzu's down for 60. Honestly, Jackie can just hit thrown if he wants to. Die, they do have Glyph. They're gonna force. Can you kill him fast enough before they actually deal with the base? I don't think you can. He's even got the Aghanims as well, so this game's just over. Jackie's going to force him to deal with him. Glyph is going to get used. Deafening Blast, Cataclysm, toss back. They get the shot in him as well on top of it. Great use of the banishment, but the throne is incredibly low. Jackie's going to blink further and further away. Now with the BKB, they need bashes, but they're not going to get them. Motivate, trust. In the end, a 58,000 net worth lead. But this is a big series for them, and they're going to take it 2-0. to zero. High ground holes with you know, three out of five heroes and they were able to repel them back.